chasing all the lights And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby I really wanna make you mine Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're just joining us now, welcome! So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my first ever Amazon haul on my channel. I don't know why I haven't done an Amazon haul before now, because obviously, like everybody else and their mom, I shop on Amazon a hell of a lot. But my Amazon addiction, I feel like, actually started quite late in the Amazon game. Because I actually only really started buying from Amazon probably around a year, maybe a year and a half ago. But I wasn't even then a regular Amazon buyer. I would buy something and then I would leave it quite a while. And then I would go back to Amazon if there was something that I needed. And it came up as a shop that sold that particular thing. But now... Well, now let's just say I actually have a bit of a problem when it comes to Amazon, constantly scrolling for random stuff that I don't need. I see a viral TikTok video saying, you need this from Amazon, go on Amazon and I buy that thing. So, I think it's safe to say that I do actually have a bit of an Amazon addiction. I feel like once you start shopping on Amazon, it's very hard to stop because they just do, just do things that I feel you don't really need, but actually when you see the item, you're like, actually, I feel like that could make me life a little bit better. I feel like I really need that item. So let us know if you are addicted to buying stuff off Amazon as much as me or not. But over the last year, like I said, I've bought lots of things from Amazon. Some of them have been an absolute pile of crap, but some of them have actually been really good and I've really enjoyed the purchase and I would definitely repurchase them. So, so today I have selected my favorite things that I bought from Amazon that are still available to buy on Amazon which I'll have all the links below so these aren't things that I've bought a year ago you no longer can buy because what would be the point of this video you can still buy these things on Amazon right now I'll have all the direct links below and I'm going to show you my favorite things that I've purchased off Amazon over the last year I think they're very useful things or if not useful I just really enjoy the items so if you want to look at some things that you could potentially buy on Amazon then keep on watching this video Let's just get in straight into it some of these items I did buy quite a while ago a few months ago some of these items are recent purchases but I've really been and join them nonetheless so we're going to get into it the first thing is actually something that i got a while ago now this is a q a day 365 questions five years 185 answers it's a five year journal now if you're anything like me i love notebooks i love journals anything where i can pick up a pen and write in it i'm probably gonna love it i love things like that this is such a unique one that I'd never seen anywhere else before. And the fact that you could fill this with five years worth of your life. Now, I'm not going to show you the ones I've written in. So I'm going to go like kind of to the back of mine. Because obviously, you know, a journal is personal. You basically write on every single day of the year just how you're feeling. Now, you don't have much space. So you do kind of keep it quite brief. But yeah, so it's got little things in it as well. Like little quotations. So like 18th of September, a decision you made today. But honestly, I've just really been enjoying this journal and I think it's such a cool concept. And to have five years of your life documented in a little book like this, I just think it would be so cool to look back on once it's full. I'm about six months in, so I'm nowhere near finished it, but I do really enjoy it. I enjoy the concept of it and I feel like it's one of them things that you may buy and not write in it every single day or maybe not even every single year. But if you do manage to fill it, it would be such a cool concept and... It's also a really cool deco book. Look at how pretty this is because it's actually so pretty. And like it's got the gold pages at the side as well. Now it's only a small book. It's not that big. But overall, I really like it. It's a purchase that I really enjoy and I would definitely buy it again. The next item that I got is my favourite thing probably that I bought off Amazon. And everybody who says it uses is always like, oh, that's so good. And I feel like for my job especially, this comes in so, so, so handy. So it's a keyboard but it's a wireless keyboard that i link to my phone yeah so i actually sit and type like this on a keyboard and it goes to my phone so when i'm in an argument with someone you bet my messages are long and they are lengthy and i can get in there this is such a cool item it is battery powered so you just put two little batteries in it i can't remember which ones i put in um so it's actually two AA, two triple a batteries and you just link it through bluetooth to your phone and it's just like a standard keyboard looks like this but this helps me so much because on instagram i like to write quite lengthy captions so this helps with that 
but also when I'm doing emails and that from my phone, I just have this in my bag. There's me sitting on the train, whacking it out, writing the emails on my phone. People will be looking at us like, what is she typing it? Because often my phone's like just tiny sitting there. But yeah, I'm actually typing on my phone with the keyboard. This is so handy, highly recommend this. I've had it for probably a year and a half now. I absolutely love it. I use it all of the time. I take it out with us, it's just, a great device and it helped me a lot on the job and I just really enjoy using it so I really like this. Okay so the next item I actually purchased when we moved into the house not long after. Now I had seen this item on Amazon for absolutely ages and I knew even before I moved into the house that I was going to buy these but I only actually bought them when we moved into the house. Now I have DIY'd mine slightly but it is cereal dispenser everybody always asks about these as well so they're from amazon they are two cereal dispensers now what i mean by diy mine is i've spray painted the bottom gold and the little handles gold it is actually originally silver but my kitchen is navy and gold so i just wanted to spray paint them but you get two containers in which you can put whichever cereal in you want although many big do not fit because i've tried um but most cereal does fit cherry cherry or sean had in there honey nut um um, I've had like me porridge oats in there like quite a lot does fit but mini wheat bix don't just spin this and it's got a little like tin wheel at the bottom which will give you your cereal out honestly I just think these are so cute and I really like the look of them on the bench it's so easy in the morning just to give it a little spin your cereal will come pouring out and I just really like it it's so different to having the containers in your cupboard or just keeping the boxes in your cupboard and yeah I really like this it's a yes from me and I would definitely repurchase these if I needed to or if I decided I want more cereal dispensers on my bench so it's a yes from me and they were so affordable as well I think they were like 20 pound which I actually don't think is too bad I think that's quite good but yeah okay, the next few items that I'm going to show you are good if you have a puppy they're quite puppy orientated I have three puppy items that I want to show you the first is a licky mat so I would highly recommend a licky mat if you haven't already got one for your pup they're really good so they come quite like textured so this one has like little bones all over it and you can spread anything on it so you could spread the like concrete on it or um peanut butter and the pups lick it off and I have two of these well I actually have four because I have a different type as well the pups love these Luna spends absolutely hours on the licky mat she really enjoys it Henry does like it but he does get bored of it a little quicker than her but yeah they're really easy and then what I would recommend to clean them because I struggled to clean them at first because I found a lot of my sponges wouldn't get in all the little bits but if you go to home bargains and get a toothbrush and just use a toothbrush to clean it they clean really easily with a toothbrush but yeah, overall, I think this is really great. And they do have a suction back as well. So I got a two pack. I got a blue and a red one off Amazon. And I think they were like £15. So super affordable in my opinion. A toy that will last quite a while. I do spend quite a while playing with it as well. So this is a great purchase in my opinion. Another thing. This is a recent purchase, but a one I would highly recommend. And I've trialed and tested it and it works. And I just think it's great. So we were having a bit of an issue when the pups were coming in from the garden. They were standing on mud or standing on poo. And then coming in the house and it was trailing all on me bloody floor. And I was so like, ugh, with it. So I was like, what can I do so that we don't have this? And then I discovered the foot plunger. Yes the foot plunger now men don't get no wrong ideas this is for a puppy's foot and nothing else shall enter that all <laughs> this is a puppy foot plunger so you basically just put a little bit of warm water in there with a little soap and then you grab your puppy's foot put it in there plunge the foot bring it out you get a little towel with it and then you can dry the foot off it works i honestly thought this was going to be a gimmick and when i told sean i'd ordered it he was like oh my god you're easily sold by these gimmicks and i was like yeah no but if this works this could be changing because what we were having to do if the pups had stood in anything we were picking them up putting their little paw in this utility sink having to wash it but with this little thing it honestly is so so good and i really like it so i would just like pop that foot in put it against the little soft bristles because these are like soft they're not spiky they're not going to hurt and then pull it out give it a little dry with the towel bobs your uncle mine has just been cleaned and it's just poured water on my pants so that's great but yeah definitely recommend these if you have a puppy and you're having the same issue as what we were having it's super good and it would also be handy to take with you like to the beach or if you're going on a long walk as well for the same idea but you would have to like pre-fill it before you went out obviously but yeah 
highly recommend. Okay, the last puppy item that I'm gonna mention in this video is a snuffle mat. If you watched my day in the life of the pups, you'll have seen this, but I really, really like this product and the pups love it as well. It's basically a fabric mat that comes with lots of different textures on it. And you can hide treats all over. So you can like hide treats within there, hide treats in this little pocket. There's lots of different things and then you just hide the treats and then the pups snuffle away trying to look for their treats. Um, it's a really good enrichment game and my pups love it. I've had this for quite a while, more or less since I first got them. I have this and they spend hours on it. Well, not hours, but they do really like it. So that is another great purchase in my opinion. The thing that I got is um, little, what do you call them, mason tubs or mason jars, I want to call them. So they look like this. Now, I got a selection of these when I bought this one, but I've only got one with this because they're on my utility and I am using them but they have little suction lids that you just lift that up lift your lid up put your product in so I use mine in the utility so this one's got my wash pods in and then you just close it close the suction and you're good to go these ones also really good for liquids as well because I use them for liquids and you can pour from the corner really nicely um and yeah I just really like them I think they look aesthetically pleasing you do also get little black stickers as well with a white pen so you can write on what you want so i've obviously wrote wash pods on this one these are from a brand called chef's kitchen or chef's something but i'll have them linked below and i just think they're so handy to use and i really enjoy them and would repurchase them okay so we have three more items left the next items that i have here is this little box which i've just spilled water on but these are self glued little hooks so this is what they look like i use these in my kitchen cupboards especially the cleaning cupboard they are so handy so you literally just peel this little like sticker off the back of it but it just peels off really nicely stick it wherever you want to stick it and then it's got this little silver hook on the front and you can put anything on it so i just stick like a pack of wipes on my peg bag or whatever you want to put on you can but I just think they're really handy and they're a really easy way to organize your cupboard and I really like them and would repurchase them okay the next thing that I purchased is this which unfortunately I haven't been able to use yet but hopefully I'll be able to use this week because lockdown rules have lifted a little bit it is a barbecue set but it looks like this so I actually got this for Sean but he really likes it and I really like it and we actually have a barbecue hut in our back garden which I'm really excited to use but it comes with like everything you would need for a barbecue so it even comes with this to like oil up whatever you even comes with this to oil up whatever you're putting on the barbecue as well and then you have like lots of different tools so you have like some grill hoops like honestly everything you would need to have a good barbecue is in this pot and I just think it's really handy, it's really convenient and it does come in this nice little silver case as well which is quite nice and compact to keep everything together. Okay and the last thing is actually really exciting. So I've seen this on Fabulous, Fabulous Hannah's story the other day and I had to purchase one. It's a mini little camera and she got one and I got one and I'm telling you now, you need one. So this is what it looks like, it's only £20, it's actually a kid's camera but look at this. So this is the little camera, I think there's an option of pink or blue, and then you turn it on, it comes fully charged and it comes with a little um, micro card as well, which is so good, like a little kid um, thing on it, but anyway, so then you would select your camera, I'm still getting used to how to use it, then when you look back at your picture, it's just like so cute, imagine taking that out in the summer with you to get some like cute little photos, or even the camera in itself is quite aesthetically pleasing, but it actually does work, like look at that oh yeah i know you're probably thinking yeah but you've got your phone you can take a picture but this is cute isn't this really cute i just really like this and i just thought it was so handy to have it takes quite decent pictures as well and they've got like a nice grain effect on them but i'm really excited about this and i thought i would show you it it's a recent purchase and i really like it and yeah i'm very happy with that this is everything that i'm going to show you in this amazon haul if you would like to see part two of this i can definitely do it because like i said i buy a hell of a lot from amazon so give this video a thumbs up if you would like us to film part two if you would like us to do a part where i'm telling you the things not to buy off amazon then maybe let us know as well because i can do that 
And if you've got all the way to the end of this video, comment plant below. And the reason I'm saying plant is because there's a plant behind the camera and it's the first word that comes to my head. Because I'm always really interested to see how many people actually get to the end of the video and it really helps out with engagement. So let us know, plant below and we'll see, did you get to the end or not? And without further ado, -ta -ta, I'm gonna let you go and I will see you very shortly for another video. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,